everybody welcome back to let's go geo it's time for another featured friday and the way that featured fridays work is i show you something interesting and you take a guess at what you see so this is our featured friday today so we have this chunk of rock here and it has a couple of interesting things going on but check out this right there and your challenge is to try to guess at what you see what do you see there so when you figure it out, when you have a guess, if you think you know what it is, or if you just want to take a fun or funny guess, feel free to drop that in the comments and we can have some fun discussions about it. I talked about this not too long ago, a little bit, in one of our geo field adventures here, our virtual adventures that we go on here at Let's Go Geo. So you might've seen it there if you saw that video. Otherwise, it also has a pretty characteristic look. So once you get familiar with these things, you know exactly what they are when you see one, even if what you're seeing is part of one. So another hint besides that is the type of rock that we find these types of things in gives us a clue. So obviously I will, well, okay. I'll, I'll say a few things that might be obvious to some of you and that is, that this is a fossil. So hopefully you already guessed that, but if not, it's a fossil that we're looking at there. So your challenge is to try to guess at what kind of fossil do we have? And again, we're looking at this one and you might notice there are some other things going on here. So we had a marine environment here that was quite active. There was a lot going on. Um, you can think about Again, what kind of material is this? What kind of re what kind of an ancient environment does this represent? Because that's kind of the, one of the coolest things about fossils is that they can tell us a lot about the ancient environment. Sometimes people are skeptical about some of the conclusions drawn by geologists and paleontologists about ancient environments when we're talking many, many millions of years ago. They wonder, well, how could we possibly know those types of details about the conditions of the environment? But actually, you can, you can infer a lot of information from geological deposits and from fossils. Sometimes they tell us stuff about the interactions between the organisms, and they tell us what this was if it was a sea or a river or a delta or a forest or you know we can infer from pollen samples uh, what kind of tree assemblages there were so that's something that's done um, there's information obviously in ice we can we can find out things about the environment and the what the air was like even in air bubbles uh, what else so there, there's just all these things that you can actually find out and you can even find out how well the organisms might have been doing if their population was declining if a bunch of species have died off, and we can tell how old this is. So this guy has a certain range in which he lived. So we actually can find out, just by seeing him in here, we can go, mm, this stuff is approximately this or that old. So make sure you have your guess in the comments because now we'll talk a little more detailed here. So what we have here are a bunch of different fossils actually from a marine deposit, so hopefully, you guessed it was some kind of marine environment, uh, but then you can you can talk about the other things you see here as well. That'd be fun if you know what they are, um, if you know what these other marine fossils are. But in terms of just this guy, he has a very classic look, like I said. So when you see something that look, looks like this, this is a trilobite. And this is an interesting marine invertebrate animal and he had some pretty distinctive looks there that when you see that, you know it's a trilobite. And like I said, we're missing some parts of it here um, in this particular sample, this rough sample. So we're not even seeing his whole body there, but even in the name, trilobite is implied something about the, the sections of the body. The tri is, it refers to three sections of this, this trilobite's body. So, that's that's what's in the name for a trilobite, but um, there are actually a lot of different types of trilobites. So you would, if you were really good at identifying trilobites, and if your rocks or your, if your fossil sample was good enough, if it was preserved well, you might be able to figure out what kind of species it is. And if you can get it down on the species level, you have even more information because trilobites are extinct now. So 
we know that they only lived or we only find them in the fossil record from a certain period of time in the Paleozoic, so very long ago, hundreds of millions of years ago that these lived, but they also lived for a very long time. They were, uh, they were quite abundant for some time. Um, but if, so that's trilobites in general, but there are different species that had their own range. So if you could take this down to a species level, you could say, okay, we have something specifically from a certain time. And so, yeah, so that's how we can tell exactly what age the material that it's in. And then say, if there's another fossil, then you can use that as well, right? So it lived along these other marine organisms. Uh, as well. So then you start putting this whole assemblage, this whole group of organisms together in an environment. You can start to paint a picture of what life was like then. So lots of interesting information we can get from fossils. I will talk a lot more about fossils uh, because I love them and there's great things like I've mentioned here today. So stay tuned for that. We'll go on some longer field excursions here, the virtual field adventures here at Let's Go Geo, and many of them will be to hunt for more fossils. If you haven't seen it already, I did feature some trilobites in one of our latest adventures from Nevada. So we talked a little bit about the Paleozoic Seas of Nevada from quite long, a long time ago. So check that one out. When I get a chance, I'll stick the link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next Featured Friday. If you want to guess it some more right now, the Featured Fridays are all in a Featured Friday playlist. So you can take a stab at some of the other ones. Otherwise, next Friday, I'll have another one for you. And I'll see you on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.